Representative Snyder, is that your light? It is. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Um, Mr. Vice Chair, I, I move that we recommend favorably HB 240 for substitute. Okay, we have a uh, motion is in order. We have a motion to favorably recommend HB 240 for substitute. You want to speak to that? I would. I think we've had a good discourse here. Uh, I think the sponsor of this bill is trying to do the right thing, and I think passage, as, passage of this bill allows us to do the right thing eventually. Um, I will say sort of I believe that every bad idea ever fulfilled by government comes with the clause of just trust me. And I think uh, when I look at this project, I look at a project that says we've got reputable financing, just trust me. We have science that proves our point, just trust us. We have a disposal model that may or may not violate the public trust doctrine, but trust us. Uh, and we have a, an organization that is using litigation and lawsuits to silence its detractors, but yet we should just trust them. I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. I'm not. That said, I think I could get there. I think if we had checks and balances, I think if we had transparency, I think if we had the process that's outlined here, I'm not saying I would never vote for this. But I think the current model, the current system, never allows that to happen. We, we are talking about a significant public asset. This, this ground that we're utilizing as collateral in this, in this proposal, it's not mine. It's everybody's in this room. It's everybody's in Utah counties. It's everybody in the state of Utah's. And because of that, I think we owe the people of this state that level of transparency. If this was just a block down in Cache County in my district, you know, I think they could settle that out with Logan City, the mayor. I think a few people could make a determination on how to move forward with the development. This is the second largest freshwater body in the state of Utah. And we're, we're just going to allow that process to play out and hope for good outcomes. I'm, I'm just not comfortable. And I will say that a project a, that utilizes public assets that cannot stand this kind of scrutiny has no business being a business at all. So uh, I, I'd encourage my colleagues to support this, if for no other reason than good government, because I believe Utah County and this state deserves that at a minimum. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Okay, we have a motion. Okay, hold down a minute.